American terrorism. An inspiration for the civil rights movement. Madman or martyr? Murderer or hero? John Brown's Holy War. On Sunday evening, October 16, 1859, the radical abolitionist John Brown led five blacks and 13 whites into Harper's Ferry, Virginia. He brought along a wagon load of guns to arm the slaves he was sure would rally to him. Once they had, he planned to lead them southward along the crest of the Appalachians and destroy slavery. Brown was an inept businessman who had failed 20 times in six states and defaulted on his debts. Yet he believed himself God's agent on earth. In 1856 at Pottawatomie Creek in Kansas, he and his sons had hacked five pro-slavery men to death with broadswords, all in the name of defeating Satan and his legions. Brown and his men quietly seized the armory, arsenal, and engine house and took up hostages, including George Washington's great-grandnephew. After that, nothing went right. The first person killed was the town baggage master, a free black. The slaves did not rise up. Angry townspeople did. The first of Brown's followers to fall was Dangerfield Newby, a former slave. Someone in the crowd cut off his ears as souvenirs. On Tuesday morning, federal troops arrived from Washington, led by a U.S. Army colonel, Robert E. Lee. Lee's men stormed the engine house, and nine more of Brown's men were killed, including two of his sons. Brown, severely wounded, was turned over to Virginia to be tried for treason. In firing his gun, John Brown has merely told what time of day it is. It is high noon. Thank God. William Lloyd Garrison. An undivided South says, let him hang. Albany, Georgia Patriot. Virginia found Brown guilty and sentenced him to death. Among the troops at the scene of his hanging were cadets from the Virginia Military Institute, led by an eccentric professor, Thomas J. Jackson. Also there was a private in the Richmond Grays, a young actor named John Wilkes Booth. December 2nd, 1859. Old John Brown has been executed for treason against a state. We cannot object, even though he agreed with us in thinking slavery wrong. That cannot excuse violence, bloodshed, and treason. It could avail him nothing that he might think himself right. Abraham Lincoln. Ralph Waldo Emerson likened Brown to Christ. Nathaniel Hawthorne declared, no man ever more justly hanged. And Herman Melville called him the meteor of the war. Brown had said nothing from the gallows, but he did hand one of his guards a note. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. His zeal in the cause of freedom was infinitely superior to mine. Mine was as the taper light. His was as the burning sun. I could live for the slave. John Brown could die for him. <laughs> 